Hey you guys, I just wanted to drop a quick message about steroids, anabolic steroids, like bodybuilders use, and the C word. I'm gonna say the C word so I don't get all censored, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. So um, right now my brother is in the hospital with the C word, and um, he does not use anabolic steroids, but I had a call with his doctor and his doctor, I was asking about like a lot of his biomarkers that they had checked, and he's like, we're checking inflammation levels. And I was like, cool, are you, are you checking CRP then? And he's like, yeah, so CRP is C-reactive protein, and it's a blood test that you can do that shows the levels of st systemic inflammation in the body. So for example, when I get a client who has autoimmune disease, they usually have elevated CRP. Somebody who's very inflamed, um, will have elevated CRP. So it's one of the major blood tests that I look for in my clients um, because if that's high, it's like let full tilt, let's get that lower. Now, if you're already inflamed and you get the C word, <laughs> now you're in trouble. And what I want, I just want to share this real quick because if you don't know, there are a lot of guys on anabolic steroids. Guys, you wouldn't even think. I'm getting ready to go in the gym. I bet at least half of those dudes are on steroids. Even guys that don't even look like they're on steroids are on steroids. And guess what? I'm gonna share a study in my story. I'll do a swipe up link um, where they tested C-reactive protein and anabolic steroid use and it significantly elevates CRP. So steroids make you inflamed. They elevate your CRP. And so guess what else? They also did a study on patients that had more severe outcomes with the C word and they had significantly elevated CRP. Now my brother, I, I, when I asked about his CRP, a normal CRP would be under 10. His is 83.6 right now. That concerned me. I was like, no wonder he's having such a bad reaction. Now that the C word itself is elevating his CRP, he's inflamed from that, but it did make me wonder what his CRP was before he even got it. And if that is part of the reason he ended up having to go in the hospital over it. So I just want to do a little like PSA because I've seen this also in some guys that I know who use anabolic steroids. They had very intense reactions to the C word. So if you're using anabolic steroids, I would recommend going and getting a simple blood test. You can go to Ulta lab test is what I use with my clients. Um, actually, if you go to Ulta, ULTA lab test.com forward slash coach chair Garrison. I will write when I get done with this, I will drop this. It's H S C R P. I will drop the thing right there on my front page so you can find it quickly and you can just order it online and you just go into any lab. It's cheap. It's easy. Just drive in one morning, get your CRP test. And this goes for everybody right now. Like that's the blood test I would be aware of if you want to make sure that, you know, that you're not going to have like a really intense reaction. I'm not saying that's the only factor, but it's definitely a factor. If you're already inflamed and then you get the C word, which is going to elevate that systemic inflammation even more, there's a higher likelihood that you are going to have a more intense, you know, less favorable outcome with it. So I just wanted to share this because I, you know, I'm in the fitness community and there's a lot of guys out there taking steroids. And I'm like, if you've been feeling intuitively, like you need to get off that shit, this might be the push to do it. I would say, go and get, just go get checked. Just find out, just find out where your inflammation levels are with one simple blood test. Uh, of CRP. And if you do have elevated CRP and this goes for anybody, um, curcumin is really helpful on bringing that back down. So, um, anyway, I just want to share that because I'm like, dang dude, I worry, I worry about these guys that are on anabolic steroids and they don't realize how inflamed they are. And now we have this virus going around. Crap. I said a bad word. I'm going to get censored now. <laughs> We've got this thing going around and it's setting you up for a not so awesome spot. So, Anyway, if you know somebody who's on steroids, share this video with them, request that they get their CRP checked so they can see where they're sitting. And I'm saying like, I mean, sometimes people have a hard time letting that go. I get that. If you're not going to let it go, it pl please at least start getting on some anti-inflammatories if your CRP is elevated so you're not in such a precarious position in case you do get sick with the C word. Okie dokie. Okay. Just sharing that. Hope you guys all have a great night. <laughs> Me, me never, not my mix. Yeah, that's the thing with um, steroids is like, do you really want to go down that road? Because sure, yeah, you're going to get all jacked, but then now you're going to be dependent on steroids the rest of your life, which enlarge all your organs, um, generally lead to heart issues, cardiovascular issues if you do them for a long time. You're elevating your inflammation. 
and now you don't want to let it go because you don't want to let your ego go and get small again. It's like, dude, just eat your freaking protein, lift, enjoy your body the way it was designed. You're not less than because you don't look like freaking Arnold, which Arnold's, have you guys seen? He he is getting like canceled by the bodybuilding community right now because he posted this thing. He said this thing on a news thing about like, if, what did he say? Like, screw your freedom or something like that. So the whole bodybuilding community is like, wah, wah, goodbye. Um, anyway, but I, I have, I've always had conflicting feelings about Arnold personally because while I appreciate the way he thinks, he's like the only person in bodybuilding really that I think has <laughs> has ever for me had like intellectually interesting things to say about it. But I also see how many men, especially those who were like watching all those movies like Conan and Terminator and all this stuff growing up, they're like, I have to look like that. And now they're all on drugs to be able to look like that. And they're in increasing their inflammation. They're having heart attacks at young ages. You know, they're uh, just, yeah, hormonally messing themselves up to be able to get to that place. And it's like, think about that. Like, is something so wrong with your body the way that it naturally is that you need to induce, you need to take drugs just so you don't look how you naturally look? I hate it, you know, personally. Um, oh, did I get the recommendation for the coffee maker? I got so many. I posted them in my story. I think I might get the Ninja. I'm kind of between the Ninja and the Percolator. <laughs> Plus percolator is fun to say. So anyway, if you just jumped in, thank you for being here. Basically what I'm saying is steroids make you. Sorry, that was my daily telemarketer, highly religious zealot people that call me 20 times a day. Um, steroids increase CRP, which is systemic, systemic inflammation in the body. COVID. Oh, I said it. No, no, I'm going to get my little freaking, uh, sensor warning. <laughs> um, anyway, the C word, um, increases CRP. And if you have really high CRP, that's when you start to be like hospitalized and have major problems with the C word. So word to the wise, word to my guys out there, just get off that shit. Just get off of it. You don't need to look like that. You're, you're beautiful on the inside. <laughs> you can have plenty of muscles just earning them the old 